floor for quarterback Justin Fields for a few minutes. Front row, middle. Dave? Justin, I noticed during the pregame show, uh, Matt Liner did an interview with you, and he asked you, do you have a chip on your shoulder? Do you play with a chip on your shoulder? And, and you kind of surprised me. You said, no, I don't play with a chip on my shoulder. Despite being such a big-time recruit, you did have some naysayers coming into the season. I was kind of surprised to hear that mm -hmm. you don't play with a chip on your shoulder. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be people. There's always going to be people that doubt you. So I mean, you just have to get used to it and just don't worry about the outside people. Just play your game. So I'm not really worried about what the outside people really have to say. I just go out there and play, play the hardest I can. I know you're focused on the game right now, but as you reflect on the regular season you had personally, uh, what goes through your mind? Uh, that um, I still have room to grow. That I still have room to improve. So I'm just going to focus on getting better each and every day. Justin, I know you said last week you had to go through a lot of treatment during the week. Just what are the different things you have to do in terms of taking care of your knee and making sure that you're good to go on Saturday? Um, I just come in every morning, uh, do different exercises uh, with the trainers, and the, uh, just just try to, I guess, ice it a lot and just, just do different exercises that help strengthen my quad and my knee to, to just get it back right to normal. Is it something you think about at all when you're in the game or on the practice field, or do you kind of just block it out of your mind when you're out there? And I think practice, you have to kind of think about it more because uh, it's not actually the game, but the game, when you're in the game, you can't really think about your knee. You just have to go out there and play your game. Uh, second row left, Stephen from Cleveland.com. Hey, Justin, when you first met Garrett Wilson, like, I guess, what were those conversations like? I don't even remember the first time I met Garrett, really. Uh, I don't know if it was like... Yeah, I've, I have no idea, like, when the first time I met him. But, I mean, Garrett's always been a cool guy. He's always been a, a great football player, so I'm just happy to have him on the team. He said, like, we asked him a couple of weeks ago, he said you guys met when you guys were moving in back in January and that there was a moment where you guys were sitting in the back of his parents' car. Like, oh, yeah, that, that actually was the first time we met out now, I remember. But, yeah, I just met his parents. Um, got a ride over to the stadium where, we, where I went to go eat with the freshmen. So, uh, just talking to him and his parents, uh, uh, I knew he was a great kid, uh, raised raised by great people, so uh, he was just just fun to be around. What did you guys talk about? Nothing, nothing, nothing really. We were just making conversation, nothing specific. Front row left, Mitch from the Associated Press. Justin, when you were down on the field in the third quarter uh, and not getting up, can you describe what was going through your mind? Did you did your life flash in front of your eyes? Your football life no nah, I was just uh focused on getting off the field because my dad always told me when I'm when I got hurt as a as a kid uh, playing football when I was younger he was just uh, he just always told me to do do whatever you can to get off the field so I was really trying to get up and get off the field but I, I couldn't walk so I just stayed down and then talked to the trainers and as time went on it just the pain got less and less so I just I knew I just had to throw on the, the bigger knee brace to go out there and uh, finish the game but you didn't have any really real idea when you were down how serious it was were you thinking oh my gosh is this the season no nah, I, mean, I don't know I don't those, really you didn't have those thoughts yeah I don't really have like negative negative thoughts like that I mean I just was hoping I could get back on the field and um I knew how big the game was so really it was it was going to be uh, kind of hard like a big injury for me to not actually get back out there and play so um I, I really wasn't worried about the injury I was, I was just worried about getting uh, back on the field as fast as fast as possible Justin, had you experimented with any of those other knee braces last week before the game? Had you had that big one on before? Uh, uh, I had the big one on uh, for Tuesdays and Wednesday practice, and then I wore the, the one I started the game off with on Thursday, so I was just kind of getting used to those. And this probably is just annoying to talk about knee braces, but like, mm -hmm. do you think that you know, that big one limits you in some way? Are you comfortable I mean, with it? Yeah, it, it definitely uh, limits you from running. Uh, but at the end of the day, you have to stay safe when you're behind the pocket. So it's kind of a, it's like it's either you want to be limited or you want to be safe. So you kind of just have to uh, know what's more important. Front row left, uh, Doug from Cleveland.com. Justin, we're asking you all these questions, and, and you just seem to take it in stride that maybe you get if you get hurt, that's just part of being an athlete, and you have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. it is is that how you really think about it? That it's just it's not that big a deal, and this is just what it means to be an elite athlete. That this is this is part of it? I mean, I just go about life. Uh, pretty much uh, everything happens for a reason, uh, and God has a plan. So when bad things happen in my life, I really don't stress over it. I just kind of go with the flow and just uh, just uh, lean on God to, to help me out. So I don't really get sad or down about things. I mean, if I would have tore my ACL, I, I would be the same way right now. So um, I just that's, that's just how I go about life in general, really. And with what you guys have coming the rest of the season, it probably looks like that you'll play indoors mm -hmm. the rest of the year. Yeah. Um, this offense... How, how much do you feel like it might be built to 
be a team that could succeed offensively in great, perfect conditions? Um, I, I don't really think that um, like the weather really um, affects our offense. Really, of course, if it may rain, it, we might have to run the ball a little bit more. If it may snow or the different weather conditions, but I feel like the offense will pretty uh, will pretty much be the same as it was at, at the beginning of the season or these past few weeks. Really, I don't think the indoor weather will really change our offense and how uh, Coach Day calls the play the plays. Dispatch. Yeah, Justin, how is the knee now? And do you, uh, what are your thoughts on whether it might affect you this week? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it hurts right now, of course, but I'm just going to try to get in the training room as, as much as possible and um, uh, try to get back by Saturday. Any concern it'll affect you on Saturday? Um, I mean, in my mind, I'm playing on Saturday, so I don't care how much it hurts. I'm, I'm playing whether it hurts or not, really. So. Yeah. Uh, right next door, Joey from the Dispatch. Do you think you'll have to wear the bigger brace, or do you not know yet? I'm going to wear it this week. And uh, just following up on some of the stuff about playing indoors, it seems like the wind and rain would make it much harder to, to pass on some of the deep ball stuff. Mm -hmm. Does that have an effect? I mean, yeah, it definitely has an effect. I mean, I think the the ball to Garrett Wilson, uh, the deep post I threw uh, this past weekend, I think uh, the wind definitely affected that ball. So I was, I'm just glad he was able to track it. But um, I think it slowed it down a little bit. So... Um, just being indoors, it'll uh, definitely affect the ball. But again, I mean, uh, both teams have to play with the conditions, so I'm not really worried about like the really conditions like that. Coach Day always says just handle it better better than the other team does, and that's what we have to do every game. What about that pass to, to Chris Olave? Kind of, I think it was like in the first quarter. First I don't round. think it was windy, wind, that windy on that drive. <clears throat> I think the wind was going with it, so it really the ball it really didn't affect that ball. So, yeah. Front row left, Nathan from Cleveland. 400th question about the Braves, but <laughs> you said it limits you as a runner. Do you feel like it provides maybe extra stability in passing as far as plant leg? Does it help you there at all? Um, it doesn't. Like, it just, I, I just feel more secure with it on, especially with my knee being as it is right now. Um, but yeah, I definitely can't run as fast and I definitely won't be able to be as mobile. So, um, but I, I know the most important thing is um, just, just being safe back there and uh, just, just staying healthy. So, um, not saying that I need to use my feet to win the game, but um, uh, I just just have to wear it just to keep my knee safe. Ryan Day has talked multiple times about being impressed with your toughness, but I think you said something the other after the game about the expectation he has as far as your toughness. Was there something as you guys are getting to learn each other, get to know each other? Did you feel like you had to kind of raise your level or show him something there? Or are you kind of trying to prove a toughness to your coach in some ways? Uh, no, not really. I'm just really trying to prove it to my teammates. I mean, I think, and, and the coaches, really, I, I just feel like uh, everybody needs to needs to know, and I just being a leader on this team, uh, I, f I feel like me showing the toughness, that'll bring out the toughness in them. So if they see me being tough, then that'll uh, make the overall team better and uh, be tough, and then we'll, we'll be better overall. So that's kind of why I, I do what I do, really. Last couple questions. Front row rank, Tim from uh, Letterman Raw. Yeah, Justin, real quick, uh, you you're not a, probably weren't aware of this, but, I mean, a lot of people think – that play, you come out of the tent <laughs> with mm -hmm. your new brace on, you go back in the game, and then you throw, you basically execute one of the more remarkable plays in Ohio State Michigan game history. What was it like being in that moment? And as you look back on it, what, how remarkable was that play? Looking back, like during, during it, uh, I really didn't think of it as that much, but like lo actually looking back on it, uh, it was definitely a remarkable play. And, um, uh, a magical play. So, um, but, but actually, like after it happened, I, I, it really didn't hit me like, that it was the first play that I came back in. I was just just got in, got in the game and started playing playing football. So, but uh, not not till after the fact it happened. Until after the game was, was when I actually noticed like wow, it was actually like the first play I, I was back in. So yeah, you know, and then post game, first time you guys played Wisconsin, you know, you remember saying that you thought y'all could have scored 50 if the weather had been better. Mm -hmm. Do you do you still kind of stand by that? Obviously, this will be a different challenge. Yeah. The what is it that just really got going for you guys as that game went along? Um. I just think the the energy we brought to the table, and then uh, how well our defense was playing, and Chase was, of course, went off that game. So uh, just the, just the creating turnovers, what Chase did, and uh, the, the defense did, and I think the offense did a good job rolling that game. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, final question. Uh, third row right, Rob from the dispatch. Yeah, one more technical question about the knee. Um, it affects your running, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't look like it affected your throwing in that game, but does it? I mean, it's a plant leg do you see anything is there any pain nah, i don't think it if aff it affects throwing at all to be honest with you um and then i mean in the game you can't really worry about what's what's on your body you just have to kind of go out there and uh, worry about 
scoring and, and putting points up on the board. So just having the stuff around, uh, like knee brace or different shoulder brace or whatever, I don't think that uh, that affects playing. I mean, it might to a little extent, but at the end of the day, you have to go out there and make plays. So and that's that's what I, I feel like our whole uh, team has to do, really. So. You don't have to worry about throwing off the bat leg or anything? No. Nah. Okay. Justin, thank you very much. Thanks.